Hello guys, this is Kudo and welcome back to this seventh part of this tutorial about adding multi-language on your game. So last time we checked together, we are loading our file content into the string and we be glad to know we just succeed to copy our file from the resource folder when we don't have connect internet connection. So in this tutorial, I will show you how you can attributate the key for a specific text on the Unity. I mean, it's the main part and I think the most interesting about this tutorial because we do all the code for this part mostly. So let's get into it. So first thing, we need to head back to Unity and we need to create a UI Text Mesh Pro. Okay, what we need to do, secondly, we need to, for um, this will work for each text you created. So make sure all your text you want to switch in different language, add this, um, this script. So we want to add the script Kalized text. Okay, so now let's open this script. And for this script, I don't need the update function. Okay. Uh, what I need, I need the using, so using uh, system, oops, system. Okay. I need uh, using TMP Pro and that will be it. I need, uh, I need the start function and I need to uh, not put void but enumerator again for this function uh, I need to create some variables so let's serialize the first one serialize field um, private string and let's call string and let's call this string underscore localization key Basically, this string will, uh, we need to put the key we want to be attributed for this main text is. I will show you just after, you will see, don't worry. After that, I will need the text mesh, I will need to text mesh pro, uh, text mesh pro on GUI. He will um, count as a text component, component. Okay, and what we want to do, we want to create another function. So let's make this function public. So public void attribution attribute, oops, attribution text. And this function will attribute each key we selected, we put in the inspector to, uh, to the text. So in the um, start function, we, we need to do a loop. So while uh, localization, so localization manager, so localization manager dot instance dot is ready. So is ready. And I think is ready. It's private. I think I put it private here. Yeah. Yep, it's private. So let's head back to this part and let's put not private, but uh, public. Okay. And let's hide it in inspector because we don't want to uh, show in the inspector. Okay, let's head back. So uh, why is the localization manager instance is not ready? What we want to do, we just want to yield uh, return null and as soon the is ready is equal to true what we want to do is just attribution so uh, we just want to call this function okay and what we want to put in this function is just something very easy so if 
uh, text mesh uh, text component text component equal equal to null what we want to do we just want to uh, get the component so we just want to put text component text component will be equal to game object dot uh, get component get component of uh, text mesh pro text mesh pro on GUI. Okay, and after that we want to try. What we want to try? We want to try to attributeate our text component. So what we want to do is text component. Text component. Oh, I'm sorry. I just realized compo and it will be much easier so rename it text component and what I want text mesh pro component yep that will be much better so text mesh pro component dot text will be equal and now we need to create some function in the um, in our localization manager. So right now we just need to to comment this and we want to catch some exception. So catch exception if uh, didn't tr uh, didn't catch the he didn't try to get the component. We just want to debug dot log dot log error log error the exception. Okay, so now let's head back to localization manager and we need to create uh, one last function, one of the last function. And let's create it maybe here like this. And this function, we call this one. So let's make it public. So public, uh, because we need to call it in the other function. So public string get text for key. And it will take in parameter string localization key. Okay. And what we want to do in this function, we just want to check in the dictionary if the location key we put in this in the parameter of our text is find it. So if localization uh, localized dictionary dot contain key and we want to check if it's containing localization key okay what we want to do we just simply want to return so uh, localization dictionary and we want to return localization key simply add that else we just want to return error uh, no key, no key matching with n plus, so localization key. It's, it's just the warning to, to, let, uh, to let us know if uh, the, the key we put in the inspector is find it in our dictionary. So let's head back to localization text. And what we want to do, we just need to uncomment this. And we just need to say localization manager. So localization manager dot instance dot uh, get text uh, for key. And we want to put in parameter the localization key here. So let's save this. And now we can head back to Unity. And right now, if I didn't put any key or anything uh, in here, because it's waiting for the key, you will see, maybe if I put test here, and here I will put test2. Let's save this. As you can see, if I hit play, you will retrieve some error. So error, no key matching with test number two, error, no key matching with test. But now, if... I open my JSON file, so remember in the streaming asset or resource files, 
as you can see, the key um, attempting is this is my first key, this is my second key. If I copy paste this, like this, so copy and paste it here, okay, and I do the same for the other key, like this, okay, oops, uh, okay, and do the same for here, and save everything, and if I hit play, you will see, there it is, I got my value showing, refer referencing to the key I put in the localization key. Okay guys, and that will be the end of the seventh part of this tutorial. Thanks for watching. So if content equal equal to like or user learn something equal to true, user should thumb up plus subscribe. Else user should dislike but help me to improve. Thank you and I catch you guys next time.